Welcome again to our class of biology practical. Today is in second session which we are going to study classification of bread mode. The facilitator of this lesson of this lesson is scientific technologist Mr. Mahuru. Bread mode is among the organisms are the specimens studied in secondary school, mostly in the biology laboratory. I think you students we are together. So be aware to understand our lesson correctly and according. And at each section of the classification, make sure you know the, and you, you identify the question to ask it or to, to be more understand this lesson. Okay, let's go to the study of classification of bread mold. In front of you, that is a labeled diagram of bread mold is labeled according to the external structure what you observe when you are being you are being provided that is specimen of bread mold we start classification of bread mold the common name is bread mold the kingdom is fungi the phylum or division is in zygomycota what is characteristics characteristics of mold to its division or why mold is belongs to division zygomycot? The reason is because one it has a spore as a reproductive structure, it has a spongium for reproduction, the third it reproduce very fast. Another characteristic why is any division the zygomycota? It consists of root-like structure called rhizoids, which grow from stone for absorption of nutrients. The five mold grows on soil plants and decaying fruits and the vegetables. Six, some mold are used in production of cheese. What is habitat of bread mold or where bread mold is found? Bread mold is found in the decaying organic material or organic matter. What is the mode of feeding or mode of nutrition of bread mold? Bread mold undergoes a saprophytic mode of feeding or mode of nutrition. What is the mode of reproduction of bread mold? Bread mold reproduces asexually and asexually means that undergoes sexual and their sexual reproduction. The advantages, what is the advantages of mold or bread mold? The question is how mold or how bread mold is important in our, in our environment? The, the answer is mold helps in recycling or increasing soil fertility. The mold together with the bacteria, the fungi or mold form a major role in recycling the dead, the decayed, decayed matter. So, in that way, the soil increase the ability of growing the plant. What is the disadvantage of mold? Though bread mold is very important in our recycling the soil, or recycling the soil, or increasing the soil ability to grow the plant, but there is a disadvantage. Mold cause the food spoilage. The fungi plays, plays a role major in recycling organic material. So in that way fungal damage is responsible for a large losses of stored food usually when the food contains moisture. I think you students were together. I think now you have understand our lesson. So to understand the more Let's review these questions. Assuming that the bread mold is specimen A, the question you can meet in your test in your examination of practical. The first question is identify a specimen A by its common name. The second question is classify specimen A to division level. Three, what is the characteristics of division to which specimen A belongs? Four, draw a well and a neat labeled diagram of a specimen A. Five, where specimen A can be found. Six, how specimen A reproduce. 
what is the mode of feeding of a specimen A? And the last question, some of these questions, what are the advantages and the disadvantages of specimen in our daily life? I think you have understand our lesson. So now let's we end up here. Thank you for your contribution. Welcome again to our class of biology practical to learn classification of another living things known as a fanny plant. So to learn and subscribe to our channel of YouTube Skills Learning Network for excellence education and for excellence understanding. Thank you. Also,